Hi everyone, my name is Sohil Maharaj. Today I uh, bring you the seventh episode of Change Conversations. It's a series of conversations where we bring you the stories of our change makers who are doing great uh, work in the communities and helping the world to sustain itself. Today we have with us Deboshi. She's from uh, India and she's been working effectively in her community and creating an impact. Uh, uh, hi Deboshi, thank you so, so much for making it today. Uh, uh, introduce yourself and your initiative. Hi, Sohel. Thank you so much for having me here. I'm Dushujay Banerjee. I recently finished my 12th grade and I'm working uh, in India, primarily in the sector of plastic pollution and its effects. So we work about um, mitigating the changes, the negative changes which, ha which happen in the environment due to plastic pollution. And our initiative is known as the Soft Movement. And one of the major projects via which we are trying to create an impact is the paperback project in which what we do is we uh, go to different schools, conduct workshops and have volunteers make newspaper bags, like upcycle newspaper and make paper bags and then give these free of cost to small vendors. Now, why do we do it? We do it because in India since 2019, there has been a ban on plastic bags. However, even this year, it's like the 2022 is ending. Even now, if you go to a small vendor across the street, the vegetable vendors, flower vendors, etc., they are still selling their items in plastic bags. And now, like even in 2022's June, there was a um, ban again on this, but the ground reality hasn't really shifted a lot in terms of these vendors. So that's why we are providing them with a free alternative, which is uh, which doesn't cost them anything. Because if you look at it this way, they do not have enough profit margins to afford anything other than plastic bags. So this is what we do via the paperback project by now. Um, and like we started uh, the soft move back in 2020, but the paperback project in 2022. And in the course of these 12 months, we have replaced over 18,000 plastic bags across India, working with 30 plus members uh, at the soft move in different cities. 21 is the count as of now. And we want to increase our impact as we go forward. Thank you so much. Very nice. That's, that's really inspiring to hear. Like, you know, when we see a lot of, a lot, lot is pledged on an international level. Like, you know, there are people coming in globally for effective climate change mitigation policies. And people like you are effectively creating, you know, grounds for that target to be achieved. Uh, Thank you so much. I would be very interested to know uh, what was what was that it actually triggered you to initiate all this process because we really uh, like you know learn a lot. We came to, we we learn people saying that okay, I want to change this this thing that thing and all. They aspire a lot to change in the world and but you're someone like you know who initiated this change process and been working effectively. So what was that it triggered you to to kind of assimilate that courage and you know to put that into an action mechanism? What was that triggered you? So um, growing up, like ever since I was eight or nine, I used to accompany my parents to Kahani Ghar, which is an organization working with slum kids. And I used to go um, and try to teach the younger kids, play with them and be a very active participant when it comes to donation drives and uh, clean up drives and everything. So for me, social work became a thing even before I was introduced to it, like, okay, this can be something which you can put as an extracurricular on your college profile, which a lot, which, which is happening a lot these days. So I was introduced to it at a very younger age and I'm really thankful to my parents for that. So I think that experience made me uh, very vocal about the issues which matter to me. And it was finally in 10th grade where I found my calling for uh, climate action and hence initiated the soft movement. In fact, if you ask me about what triggered me the most, it was that, um, so I have I had always been in time, like I told you about social work and how I could do stuff uh, as an individual. So I read about a lot of pacts, a lot of promises, a lot of uh, coalitions that, okay, this will happen, this should happen, pledges and everything. But what I realized at an, as an individual, and these, these are very much my personal thoughts, what I realized as an individual is that 
a lot more is happening when they talk climate action and a lot less when they take climate action so that is something which i wanted to change and that's why i named my organization the soft movement like a change which is soft subtle yet permanent like we do not want to um okay for a lack of a better word we do not want to just create the talk and noise around it we want to do it softly so that that's the simplest way i could put it and and that's why is this about being told about it you know flights and me and a global friend and then you know so you are the actual people like you know who take those agendas i have in these local communities yeah so and that uh, i mean um, okay so it's inspiring to hear this all like you know your commitment for the climate change action and all in its way resilience shows a great of resilience on your part for this and i'll be very interested, interested to know like you know if you can share some of your success stories maybe like you know the number of projects you were able to do and number of people you were able to impact and all uh you know can you share some figures or maybe impact numbers and or how you know uh, effectively your initiative has accelerated in recent times all right so um with when when i started the soft movement uh the first two years we did a lot around um feeding drive donation drive even we we used to put up a sustainable menstrual products exhibition like on road so that we introduce more people to the idea of sustainability but it was finally in 2022 january that we launched the paperback project which i think is the project which made the most impact uh, with our organization and like i told you we have uh, replaced 18000 plastic bags we have had our workshops in 21 different cities we have connected with more than 30 people as active members and if we if we talk about volunteers who uh, who um joined us for conducting these workshops and participated in workshops we have reached over 10000 young people through different schools through colleges through other organizations where we went and in terms of success stories if you would like to call it that um we have seen the vendors have a mindset change when we gave them the paperback so there was this one week where i didn't where i couldn't go and give them the paperback so when i went there what i saw is that that person on his own uh, got brown paper bag for his store because he didn't want to use plastic once again so i think this when you look at it this way like okay one vendor did that it it seems small but the fact that a vendor who despite the ban didn't want to switch to anything else did this means a lot to us so in terms of um, the change we brought i think is the most valuable gem for us i believe you like um, because there's a lot like you know that as i already said there's a lot like young people want to take initiatives and all but you know strategically they don't plan well and then sometimes it happens if you like you know uh, project fails or you're not able to initiate and all and then you know you're very disheartened or discouraged what can you can you share like your like like you know the challenge challenges that you faced or your initiative phase or what are the cha- challenges that you are facing and you know how you try to evolve from all those challenges because there there are like things that will try to overwhelm you you know because there's a lot like it's something new you're making a way out of many other things you know which are in the corner par- so just like you know you are dug in a tunnel so can you just share like a little idea about it like you know how effectively you've been working in like mitigating those challenges actually and what are the challenges that you faced the challenges which i faced were so uh, when i talk about the phase of project a lot of it has to do with interacting with vendors so when we went to them initially and gave them the paperback the alternative they were like you're going to ask for money at one point or the other there is some hidden agenda why would you give something to us for free so it was very difficult for us to convince them that um we are here to help you out and not try to gain something out of it like of course if at a larger level we don't have plastic bag it will be all of us who gain but so it was very difficult to difficult for us to convince them and even with schools because we were just 16 year old 17 year old going to schools and asking that okay we want to conduct a workshop at your school with other children other people who are our age or a year or a year or two younger so initially people were like okay where do you come from or like why this and stuff but eventually after we had 
n number of workshops and we had our impact numbers and we collaborated with different organizations like save the children etc even tarumitra uh, even fridays for future so after all these things when we had a sort of tiny history our story to tell people started believing more and more in us and that's how uh, we have come uh it's been inspiring to hear all this you know i mean this this is a challenge that actually you know make us more capable and you know added to our strength and you know make make us more flexible uh with the few, you know challenges coming on our way so we're very interested to know like what is uh, going to be your plan for next 5 years you know how are you going to accelerate your initiative what are the different objectives that you have set or the top targets and uh, uh down the road 5 years you know what are what are we going to ex- expect from your initiative um all right um down like five years down the line i have not set a particular target that okay this is where i want to reach because i have realized i do not have a lot of experience but in my past 3 4 years where i have been actively engaging uh professionally i realize that sometimes if you just say ki okay itna karna hai then you stop but if you just like okay let's keep doing it let's keep because there have been times where i didn't expect that okay ye aisa ho jayega if i because in january i didn't expect that by the end of 2022 we would have replaced so many bags but if i set a target of like okay let's go till 10000 theek hai one month 1000 we would have be we would have done less we would have so i have not set a number a numerical target but of course with the soft movement i want i i wish that the paper bag project spreads to each and every city in india we wish to take this international we want uh, not just india but more countries to be a part of the paper bag project of the larger um, umbrella that we are weaving and yeah that's where, that's where i see myself it's not in it's not in it's not in uh, terms of number of paper bags or the number of people or the number of awards or stuff it's it's just spreading the initiative um, far and wide all right i was very inspiring to her like and that means you know the world is going to see a lot of refuge and a lot of you know uh, i mean uh, efforts uh, from young people like you and a way to make it a better place uh, <clears throat> i'd be very really interested to know and how effectively do you think this global change maker fellowship has helped you you know as an individual or as a professional because you've been working for climate mitigation and on how what are the different aspects and fundamentals or sessions that that have helped you uh, you know to to aid your like potential respectively So when I got the confirmation that okay you have been selected as a global change maker I was very happy to say the least I was very excited and I was like okay I'm going to interact with these 40 different people from different countries different age groups different ethnicities and apart from that it was about the mentors as well uh we had different professors uh coming to take the session different uh professionals from different sectors coming the uh, coming for the sessions and uh, what change maker academy helped me do was create a charted plan like okay this is our mission this is our goal this is how we envision this is how we not just think about uh, doing okay itna kar lenge but uh, also put that on paper and be more strategic and now uh, when i look at my organization i have a more planned um, i i have more plan i have a better planned structure in terms of okay these are my goals or the fact that how to create a write up which creates more impact or how to um how to prioritize major projects and these are the things that change maker academy gave me when we had these sessions with the professionals from different companies or even with the professors uh, from different colleges we got to learn a lot from their experience because they have been working in the social uh, arena for quite some time so we got insider insights we got uh, like i told you in the pre- like when i was talking about previously as well i told you about uh, we learned how to strategically do things and not just think okay let's do it 
so uh, those are the things which i learned and about the consultancy calls this is uh, really nice like i'll be really thankful to archie for that that whenever i had a doubt or whenever i was like okay how to go about this assignment or how to um, make this how to do this better she was always there just to call away and uh, this is really this is really great about the structure of gcf that after every session there is a time slot for you to clarify your doubts so this is not just like a recorded thing that you see it whatever you retain you retain whatever you don't you don't so the fact that you can go to a person and talk about it and learn better if you have any doubts that's really uh, great and seems fine for us we we take that feedback as an encouragement for us uh, to go ahead and work with you so uh, what will be your message for the youth of uh, india and especially i mean for the youth of globe like you know how effectively uh, you would want them to work for climate change action and uh, what, what is going to be your message for the youth of india you to you to for all right thank you for that question so my message is going to be uh, especially for the young people who want to take up climate action and what i want to share from my experiences do not make your ideas philosophical or theoretical make it more practical doable simple and sustainable because pledges and promises or awareness can take you only so far but the moment you start taking um action which is tangible which shows you that okay i did this and this is the change that took place and not just that okay n number of people know about my initiative when you start focusing on that you really make an impact rather than uh, creating more awareness because if you look at it this way we all learned about ch3 coo and chlorofluorocarbons in our school grades we learned that okay 1 million biodiversity species have been lost so awareness is there there we need more people to take action than awareness so this is something which i would really like young people to focus more on for an example even if all of us just delete the number of emails which we do not read we will significantly reduce the carbon footprint so these are small things but these are things which really create tangible change so i would want young people who want to take up climate action to really focus on th- on this aspect than the awareness aspect thank you so much yeah it was really inspiring to hear from you thank you so much deboshi for jo- for having joined us today uh for this conversation and uh, we really look forward uh to see you working in your community and wish you all the best with your future endeavors and uh it was really an honor to have you today and uh, again like you know thanks so much for meeting me today a lot more is happening when they talk climate action and a lot less when they take climate action so that is something which i wanted to change and that's why i named my organization the soft movement like a change which is soft subtle yet permanent mm-hmm.